questions, if you could, leave your hands raised, and we'll try to get to most of y'all at least. Nope. All right, yep. Um, you know, another game down to the wire. Uh, we're kind of getting accustomed to those. Uh, you know, I think there's some things that we can certainly do to make sure that uh, it doesn't get to that point. Um, but, uh, you know, we always talk about finding a way to win. And uh, as many times it maybe looked like we weren't, uh, you know, we did. And uh, you know, the guys, uh, I guess I'm, the biggest thing I'm proud of is the response, um, you know, starting early in the week. Uh, today, you know, uh, there's things I think that uh, happened because of the way they came ready to practice, uh, whether it was just a response uh, Sunday after we got together and uh, kind of talked over the truth of uh, what, we, what we had happen a week ago. And then uh, Tuesday, uh, just back to work. So, um, you know, very, very un unified group uh, that uh, understands that there's still so much more we can get better at. I think, you know, we talked a lot about uh, different things that South Carolina would do uh, that would, you know, be tougher matchups for us, um, areas in the strength of their team that were maybe different than a week ago. And uh, that's the way it's going to be every single week. And so, uh, we knew that uh, up front, you know, uh, they were going to be stout and uh, thought we did a nice job with the balanced attack most of the time. Obviously, when we tried to force the issue and got into some some longer situations or tried to uh, press the ball down the field, especially at the end of the first half, um, you know, that backfired on us. But, uh, you know, defensively, uh, you know, got to the quarterback, uh, you know, we have three, four sacks, I think it was, and, uh, you know, three, tra three takeaways. And that's... Uh, you know, always an emphasis, uh, continues to be an emphasis, and proud of the way the guys uh, came through with, uh, with those. Um, we had, uh, yeah, three, did we have three or four? Three, yeah. I couldn't remember if the interception was the fourth or the third, so. Uh, just, yeah, just proud of the way the guys fight. Um, you know, the onside kick. We talk about our thought process and being 1-0 and and focusing on the next play, and uh, I use it from day one about the ball being a, a funny shaped, shaped object and bouncing you know, yeah, we just need to go grab it. It seems pretty simple, but obviously that didn't happen. So the guys are trying great effort on it, but, uh, you know, uh, found a way a defense go out there and attack, be aggressive, and uh, put them in a tough spot there on the last play. Thanks, Coach. Start in front row on the left with Nick. Yeah, the touchdown to Jeremy, uh, as far as the, the decision to call that play, we need the first down. What went into that? And then also, uh, was any thought put into potentially – going down and not scoring a touchdown for so you could kneel it out there. Yeah, we knew we had to get the first down, uh, just really with how much time was on the clock. Uh, we knew they didn't have the timeout, so there's a risk reward, right, uh, on those calls. Uh, we're just right on the edge of what would take to kick a field goal. Field goal makes it uh, a difference, you know, as far as what they got to score. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of components, a lot of things that are involved in what we try to do. And uh, there's a, there was a lot of safe avenues and, and things that uh, we discussed on that play. Uh, and I think that they were aggressive in trying to play a lot of those. And, you know, just like a lot of our concepts, there's a deeper route. And love that uh, Jalen saw it, because I think that's a lot of times early in the season. Uh, we didn't maybe see those things, but him and understanding the offense, uh, just his familiarity. Um, and then just making the throw, making the catch. And, uh, you know, again, that's finding ways to, to get it done. So proud of those guys on that execution. Uh, obviously, that was a huge part, or huge part of the win. Open a drive, fourth and one on your own 34. You go for it. You get the two-yard sneak with Milrow. Were, were analytics saying to go there, or were you bucking analytics in that situation? Yeah, I think they were. They were I'm pretty confident they were saying to go. So it's always, it, it pretty much the analytics say any fourth and one, you should go for it. So, um, But, yeah, we were. And uh, just felt confident uh, with the, the tempo. And uh, we really haven't done much of that. So even them just uh, seeing what we would line up and how we would run it, um, you know, the first time, uh, that was uh, something we were pretty confident. We, we work on it every single week, uh, later, later, later part of the week, and uh, I thought the guys did a nice job, and a big part, obviously, in getting some momentum. You hate punting on the first drive when it's third, fourth and one, so um, great, great job of the guys executing, something we hadn't really done this year. Front row and right, Charlie. Yeah, hey, Coach, just what went into the decision to kind of wait and call a timeout with 11 seconds there before the half? Yeah, I mean, I trust, I trust our guys, you know, and that one – Obviously, as you know, the points and the points they got at the end, uh, you know, at the end of the half, there hurt us. And um, you know, I'm thinking if we can get one play to where we can throw it in the end zone uh, on fourth down, and the clock ends with us having the football, uh, I'm all for it. You know, and 
Uh, worst case scenario, you take a sack or something, you, you have to punt it. I don't like punting, you know, uh, really any time. But, you know, that was to me the, the worst case scenario. But, you know, I always, I guess I'm always just aggressive that way. And uh, you try to weigh the risk, risk reward and put the trust in the guys, the things we talk about. Um, you know, that'd be something obviously me and Jay Mill, Coach Sheridan, we'll, we'll sit and talk about. And just uh, when we're in that moment and we want to keep the pedal down and try to give ourselves a, another play, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for anything. Pass might be defensive pass interference. Uh, it could be anything that gives us one more play. Um, we've seen crazier things happen, right? And so uh, that's, that's just the aggressiveness I, I like to have. Now, you know, we'll talk about the trust and uh, I think the guys appreciate when you put the trust in, but we have to learn from those things when they do happen because obviously they got three points of it, three points out of it. It's probably the last thing I was thinking about uh, when it did happen. So, Coach, what does it say about Damani's toughness? Got the injury there earlier in the game, but to come back and have the game seal and pick just Damani's toughness. Yeah, he it is. Uh, you know, and he'll I think he'll be fine. Uh, obviously, he was back out there, so. Uh, the guy guy wants to go out there. He's had a great season so far. Uh, he's a, he's someone we got a lot of confidence in, and we wanted to just use him uh, at the right times, the right moments in the second half when those times came up. And you know, again, finding a way to to pull it down and concentrate on the ball. And um, you know, it's kind of a most people would look at it as an easy pick, but you got to still be there and you still got to make the play. So um, definitely proud of the fight that he had and wanting to be back out there, uh, considering he had did go, did go down earlier in the game. You had some penalties today that extended drives for South Carolina, the one that set up the safety for y'all. Just kind of, what's it going to take to clean up the penalties? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it's penalties. Uh, you know, we're striving for zero. You know, and that's that's uh, what we're what we're you know trying to do, and and uh, we emphasize it. You know, every situation is a learning one, and we're going to talk about that. Like we have to read body language of what's happening. You know. Uh, I haven't seen it, so you know what I say may just be totally not correct. But uh, you know the understanding is that when he comes across the field, I know what his responsibility is. But when he's coming across the field, he doesn't hear a whistle. You just got to kind of at some point have a sense of uh, where the what, what's happening in front of you, and if your guy has slowed down or anything like that, uh, you know when you hit him. But I know the ball wasn't that deep into the end zone. Uh, I thought we might even field it and and bring it out. Uh, I think it was a late decision on whether we were going to do that and let it let it go. So. Um, you know, it wasn't something where he's egregiously trying to go out and get a penalty. Uh, it's just more of a matter of, uh, of reading what's happening in front of you and instinctually knowing that the play, you know, is a touchback. And so, again, that's, that's something I'm sure I'll see on film and understand, uh, you know, how close was it. I think by the letter, I know by the letter of the law, yeah, probably a penalty, right? Ball's touchback and all that. So we can't have it. We can't do it. And, uh, um, you know, that was one that hurt us because it put us in that situation for the safety. So just those plays kept feeding on each other, the small things, which that's a big thing, but the small things add up and we find ourselves in a fight till the end. Coach, what would you attribute the struggles the defense is facing on third down to and where do you want to see some improvement there? What were we? Seven for 15. They were seven for 15. I think they had five on one drive, right? Um, four or five, something like that. I remember talking about it on the sideline. And so the rest of the half, two, right? Two for the uh, rest of the game, two for 10. Is that right? I'm just doing rough math. So we can't have, yeah, you can't have five of them in a drive, right? Uh, and I think there's just a, a you know, um, just that desire to find a way to make the play. Um, I, I'll watch the film and we'll all understand what happened on a lot of those. They were in some good situations on some. I remember the ball they caught over the middle was uh, advantageous for us as far as the down and distance. Um, and that's the one where you really got to get off the football field. And uh, those are hard to convert just from an offensive side. And, and uh, they did. So, uh, you know, a lot of the game I felt like we were, we were doing a solid job. Can't say we were doing a great job, but that drive certainly coming out uh, in the second half uh, set the tone and made it hard for us the rest of the game. So we got, we got to start a little faster when we come out. We talk about the, the, middle, uh, the middle eight uh, going into the ha locker room, coming out. Uh, they got the ball, uh, and then they had those points at the end of the first half. We just got to do a good job of starting fast, you know, in the middle part of the game, and then obviously finishing. I think we did some things on the both ends, but we got to do a good job there before going to the locker room, taking that momentum in. We have time for two more questions. Coach Harlan on the right, Coach Hey, right here, Kayla. Uh, it's probably easier said than done in the moment, but 
you know, had, J- had Jeremy gone down at the one-yard line, the game's yeah. over. Do you talk with him about that? And the same kind of thing with maybe Damani at the end of the interception. Do yeah. you talk about, you know, hey, yep. just kneel it? Yeah, we have all those calls in. Uh, we practice them every at, at Friday. Um, uh, that was honestly, I'll, I'll just say that, that you, you try to make them aware that they don't have any timeouts, uh, that that's a situation. Um, and so we'll talk about that. Those are things that hit us. Uh, the one with Damani, I just talked to him about it, you know, and again, this is where we learn, you know, we learn and, you know, what his mindset is, is I'm going to run off the clock, <laughs> you know, and so uh, true, right? But we all understand all we got to do is go down and take a knee. And so those are, those are just things that we got to continue to learn from, you know, fortunately nothing happened at the end there, whether it's an injury or obviously even something else to where there's another play, something freakish happens. So, um, you know, just continue to coach, continue to teach. Uh, you know, you talk about those things and you think that everyone's good, just take a knee in the end zone, understanding there's no timeouts, we knew that. Um, but then he comes out with that and that was the last thing I expected him to, to say, but love, love the kid, love the play, and uh, you know, we'll learn from it, so. Finish up with Colin Barnard. Hey, Kaylin, um, you mentioned uh, that 16 play drive, the one with the five, uh, third down conversions for South Carolina. Do you sense uh, opposing offenses kind of continuing, you know, the long drive narratives, like the ones where it's just, you know, it seems like they're doing everything to keep the ball on hand, nine minute drives, long scoring drives. Do you see that continue from, was it similar to what Vanderbilt did to you guys? Do you see simil- like a similar approach on of, of opposing offenses? I think, I think these two offenses we face are more built to have just drives that continue to have play stack on top of each other. I know they got the explosive on the fourth down against our coverage with the, the ball down the sideline, uh, and, and you know, took, I think it took the safety out of the picture there. Um, but I think it fit more of them and you know the running back, quarterback guys that just kept moving the chains, uh, three yards, four yards, trying to get in those third and ones, third and twos, convert uh, you know slants or something like that, just to to keep the keep the drive alive. But um, you know, I can't say that they are or aren't, um, but. You know, obviously it's frustrating when they can put five third downs together and then, you know, you start wearing on your defense again. They're out there a long time, and the longer the drive happens, the, the better chance they have of obviously scoring. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Roll Tide.